one. Yo guys, what's up? I'm Justin for MLB Baseball Blogs. I'm here with Tim. Guys, we are back. We are making videos again. It's been a long ass time since we made a video. Tim, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm doing good right now. We had the All-Star Game go by. Look, guys, we love covering these small stories. If we don't cover something on here, I can guarantee you we will cover it on either my show, the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report, the uh, channel name is Mr. Kelstar, or uh, Justin's channel, Sports News Insider. So if we don't cover it here, it's because this is kind of like our second uh, channel for both of us. So if we don't cover it on here... Believe me, it'll be covered, and go check on one of our channels if you want to hear about some baseball news, because no one covers baseball the way we do. Absolutely, man. So we didn't. Re we got. We went. To, we made this video on our other channels, but we want to make it on here. Francisco Rodriguez has been traded to the Milwaukee Brewers for a couple of prospects in cash. I will say it before, and I'll say it again. If you saw our uh, 30 teams countdown, I said that the Brewers are going to win their division. This is just a giant step to the Milwaukee Brewers winning their division. They say that they're still questioning if John Axford is going to be the closer or not. I personally think John Axford should continue being the closer. Tim, what do you think? Well, I think John Axford, I think they have basically said Axford is going to be the closer, but from all indications, if he messes up even a little bit, you got a guy right here who's had success. He's won a World Series, not as a closer, but as a setup man. He's got a 3.16 ERA, 23 saves, and he's in a prob what will probably be a contract year unless he can get like 20 saves in that second half. So I think he'll be focused, even if it's not about winning, it'll be about pitching good so he can get paid. So I think that this is a move that the Brewers, as long as he doesn't become a distraction in the clubhouse, I think this is a really nice move because they basically got him for nothing. Yeah, I mean the pro. I don't. We don't know who the prospects are because they haven't really announced it yet. But if you guys follow this subject earlier in the past couple of weeks, we've heard that the Yankees were um, trying to like somehow acquire him from the Mets. But also there was another team who actually had was like the favorite to acquire, which was the Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays lost a big chunk of their uh, bullpen. They lost Soriano. They lost Joaquin Soriano, to name a few. Now they're going to veteran guys like Kevin, uh, Kyle Farnsworth, who is just old as hell right now. Adam Russell, he's like, he's getting there. But Tim, who, who do you think would actually use K. Rod more? Will it be the Brewers, the Rays, or the Yankees? Who do you think would use him the most? Or oh, I think the Brewers are going to use him quite a bit because. If you look at their starting rotation, it hasn't worked out quite as well as they want. But when it will, and I think it will on this second half, you're talking about guys like Zach Greinke, who has some injury issues, Sean Markham, who has some injury issues, and Giovanni Gallardo, who has some injury issues. So it's not like you got Roy Halladay going out there every night or CC Sabathia or one of those types. You're going to have to use your bullpen quite a bit. And there's going to be nights where Axford will have saved two games in a row and they'll bring in K-Rod. I think this move, no matter what, whether he's the setup man, whether he's the closer, it's really going to help them because it just adds a ton of depth at the back of that bullpen. And it makes it easier for the Brewers because if one guy isn't pitching well, you can just go over to the other guy. And For me, I think they got a steal on this trade. I have to agree with you there, Tim. But like you said, this is I think this is the, his contract year. But Tim, the biggest thing right now, will K-Rod return to the Brewers next year? What do you think? Um, probably not, because I think, A, the Brewers long-term would like to go with John Axford as the closer, and B, I think the Brewers are going all in this season because Prince Field is almost guaranteed to leave this year. I know after he um, won the MVP at the All-Star Game, he said it would be his dream to sign like a 10-year deal with the Brewers, but I, I hate to say it to Brewers fans, but that's just not going to happen. I see this guy as like an angel next year, maybe. Uh, maybe the Giants will get in, although it's going to be tough for them to go attract the hitter. But regardless, this team's going all in. They're trying to win this year, and I would not expect if you lose Prince Fielder, you would think that you're not going to really be in contention. And K-Rod isn't necessarily someone you want around some younger guys that would be taking their spots. Tim, I really like your pick right there for the Angels because that's my team and so are the Yankees. But we all know that the Yankees won't sign this guy because they have Teixeira at first, A-Rod at third. So, Tim, going to the contract negotiation, I like to say 
that I don't think K Rod's gonna return to this to the Milwaukee Brewers. So guys, K Rod, how well will he how well will he produce for the Milwaukee Brewers? You let us down you let us know down in the comment section. We'll talk to you guys later. And Tim, thanks for coming on thanks for coming on, man. No problem, I love coming on here. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later.